can't wait to show you how to do this today. Join us for another sound exploration. Frog. Thanks for joining us today for another sound adventure provided by Dr. Bob Sound School and the Bob Moog Foundation. So wasn't that a cool little clip that you just saw? Well, I'm going to show you how to make slime and make the slime dance. So make sure that you ask your parents if it's okay to do another sound exploration with me. Make sure that you have some clothes or wear an apron like I am that it's okay to get messy because what we're working with today has the very high potential of making a mess. But it's going to be very easy to clean up if we follow just a few precautions. Number one, make sure you have an apron or some old clothes. Number two, keep some paper towels handy. And number three, you'll want some plastic wrap to kind of protect some things in your kitchen and maybe with some of the equipment we're gonna use. So make sure you have those things just to reduce the mess a bit, okay? You're also going to need cornstarch, just plain old cornstarch and it comes in a box. And the other thing you'll need, water. Yep, that's it, water. And you'll need about a quarter of a cup of water to half a cup of cornstarch. So that's two times the amount of cornstarch to water. It's a two to one ratio. Half a cup to a quarter of a cup. And then you just pour the water right into your cup. Take a plastic spoon and just mix it up. Isn't that crazy? That's all you need in order to make this weird slimy stuff that we're gonna use today. And this slimy stuff, a lot of people call it oobleck. So we're gonna make our oobleck today just by stirring up our cornstarch and water. And then we have our slime. This is called a non-Newtonian substance. Boy, that's fancy, isn't it? Non-Newtonian substance, because it has properties of both a solid and a liquid. Notice, I can almost break it, so it's like a solid substance that breaks, but if I leave it alone for just a moment, it turns back into a liquid. It has both the properties of a solid and a liquid. So crazy. So you're gonna need your oobleck, and you're going to need a speaker. Now what I've done here, just so that you can see, is I've removed the case that the speaker's in so that you can see the speaker and it will just bounce up and down. And the bouncing up and down of the speaker head is the same wiggle as the sound. And you can use when you play music, it bounces up and down at different rates and that causes the different tones. So that whenever it goes and bounces up and down, it vibrates the air, which then will go into your eardrum and vibrate your eardrum and you can hear different tones based on the wiggling of the speaker head. I've got it all set up and ready. The oobleck is nested. I've got it on a piece of plastic wrap because that will help cut down on the mess because when this starts bouncing and wiggling in response to the sound wave I'm sending through, it can bounce right off of this speaker. And I'm probably gonna get some in my hair. It'll be okay, just don't tell my hairdresser. Okay, here we go. You ready? We're gonna try um, a frequency called 30 Hertz. It's very low frequency. I'm gonna start turning it up so that we can start watching. I'm starting to see some wiggling. I'm just turning up the volume. I'm making it louder. <gasps> oh, it really likes this. Look at it dance. All right, now I'm gonna try another frequency. Okay, so notice I just stopped it making that sound. It was a very low frequency. Lower than that even. I can't even make that. 30 hertz is very, very low. All right, so I'm gonna turn it up to um, 35. And let's see if you can tell any difference in the wiggling. Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at it dance. 
All right, let's try 40. Ah, let's see what happens at 40. wiggling. Now you can continue to explore different frequencies. If your mom and dad want to help you set up something to experiment like this at home, you can look and see if it's more liquidy what happens or more solid what happens. There's all kinds of fun experiments you can do with it. Thanks for joining us today as we've tried several different experiments with dancing oobleck. And special thanks to Dr. Bob Sound School and the Bob Moog Foundation. Remember, if you'd like to know more, stay tuned and head to the website that's at the end of this clip. Thanks for joining us.